They don't always have to have a 401k. They don't always have to invest uh, passively in the stock market. But people always have to have a place to live and because they right. always have to have a place to live, you always have a, a, a market for renters. And so you can be rest assured that you'll have someone to pay rent. Well, welcome to another episode of the Guy Gamer Vlog. This week, uh, it's been crazy. The news is like going nuts. Obviously, there's some. It's like I feel like there's something new every single day. Some states are opening back up. Some states aren't. The market's going up and down. It's really unpredictable. But we were talking earlier, uh, off camera, obviously. Um, we were talking about how this is all affecting the real estate market. Mm -hmm in a positive way. Yeah. I know a couple of episodes ago, we were talking about how uh, COVID-19 has affected renters mm -hmm. um, or, or homeowners. Mm -hmm. But now, you, you are saying, no, there's actually something interesting going on in the market itself. Yeah. So I am so excited about this. As, as, as somebody who's like interested in real estate investing and interested in getting in the game, uh, what you're saying was fantastic, and I'm so glad that we had the cameras here so we could just throw them up and record a quick episode. Yeah. So what is going on? What do we need to know? What's so important? Yeah, so to begin with, this it's the end of April, and we have data to measure now, right? We've, it, we've been at home, stay-at-home orders, or, or uh, uh, what's the in-place thing? Uh, shelter in place. Shelter in place. Yeah. <laughs> We've had shelter in place, stay at home orders, all of that stuff for going on a month now. And so we can actually measure its effects on the real estate market, which it's typically tough to, to measure the market and how it's, how it's actually performing and what sort of impacts things have had on, yeah. on the real estate market. It's not like the stock market where people are just like, sell, sell, and, and, and it sells, right? And right. People are, it, so it's different. Um, so That's now because that, there's, there's like it takes time, right? Yeah. It's just because like you can't just decide to sell your house and the next day it sells. Like, yeah, because you have to pack and move and right. you have to do inspections. You, there's a whole process to that, Makes right? Sense. So, so that's part of that. But now that we have some, some time, some data, we can actually look at the information is interesting. Okay. It's very interesting. And, and it makes sense that as a result of COVID-19 that we've seen inventory drop. Yeah. And what happens when you have lower inventory? Prices go up. Oh yeah. And so that's been the response that the real estate market has seen. And so we've actually seen, it's a small uptick in prices uh, for, in terms of rents uh, and sale prices, but it's an uptick nonetheless, which when, when we look at that, seasons of unrest, we don't typically think, hey, my property value is going up. But that's why the real estate market is where you want to invest. And that's why 90% plus of millionaires invest in real estate. And they don't put all their eggs in one basket, but they make most of their money in real estate. And that's why. So if, uh, for, for the viewer who's watching and they're like, all right, I've kind of been on the fence, Mm -hmm. I see that it's important, mm -hmm. but what what's so special about now? Like, why should I make a commitment to begin investing in real estate like today? Why is it like so important for right now? Four reasons, okay. right? The things that are that need to be low, two of those things are low. The things that need to be high are high, and so it's perfect. It's the it's the perfect storm of things. Uh, for investing. So your cost of entry is low. The amount of money you have to start with to put down on something, to buy something, is low. So that's always good. That's always helpful. Yeah, you so can I can get spend in. less of my own money. Right. Right, okay. In, in your investment. And investing in real estate, the benefit of that is that you have an, an asset that you can borrow against. And so you can lend, you, you, can, you can get money from someone else using that asset and that's how you acquire it, right? You get a mortgage and you can do that. Um, and that's, that's part of why the cost of entry on, on real estate investment is low is because you're borrowing the money from a bank, from someone else at, um, at a low interest rate or, or whatever the case may be in the season. This happens to be a low interest rate season. But the next thing is that 
our borrowing power is high. Because the market is at an unrest, a state of unrest, financial institutions have to maintain their, their portfolios by lending because that's how they make money through, uh, through uh, in the initial fees that they charge to, to lend money, uh, through the interest rates that they charge, all of those things and that's, that's what's the, what they're tasked with, that's how they make money. And so if, you're, if interest rates are lower, then they have to initiate more loans and by initiating more loans, they're making money, they're making their portfolio perform for their investors. That means that you have, have more borrowing power. You have more power to borrow because they need to lend. Yeah. And so it puts you in a, in a good position. So cost of entry is low, borrowing power is high. The next thing is, and I've alluded to this, is that interest rates are low. So if the average inflation rate is 3% and your interest rate is 3%, then you're literally borrowing money for free. You're not paying anything for it yeah. because those two things are washing, washing themselves yeah. out. And interest rates now are, are closer to four, but you're legitimately paying 1%. And when you're borrowing money and someone else is paying rent and they're paying your mortgage payment, you're actually not paying any interest at all because the, the renter's the one paying the interest on, yeah. on the loan that you got and you're also writing that interest off on your taxes each year so you're making one and a half percent and that's just on the interest that's that someone crazy. else pays right so <laughs> that's why you need to invest yeah. now okay. so interest rates yeah. are low the next thing is, is we just talked about this too is that rents are up so because inventory is down rents are up and people always have to have a place to live and that's the thing about real estate is they don't always have to have a 401k they don't always have to invest uh, passively in the stock market, but people always have to have a place to live and because they right. always have to have a place to live, you always have a, a, a market for renters and so you can be rest assured that you'll have someone to pay rent and rents are up. So cost of entry is low, Co your borrowing power is high, your interest rates are low and your rents are up perfect storm for investing and that's why you want to invest now. Well, you heard it here. You heard the man. 15 years of experience. I think he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Dude, tell me about um, what is what is your strategy? How are you going to take advantage of this? Are you looking for folks that are wanting to invest to like, you know, because like, like we have kind of like this mentor coaching relationship where you help me and my wife out with our, our decisions um, when it comes to real estate mm -hmm. and investing. You know, are you like looking for properties? Are you looking for investors? Like if there's somebody who's out there who's like, that all sounds great, but I don't really understand what it all means. Yeah. How can you help them more? Yeah, what do I do next really, right? It's yeah. like there's, there's a, a why it's time to invest in real estate and then there's what do I do next or, or how do I actually do it? So how you actually do it is to call me and we can talk about it on a one-on-one -on -one basis so that I can understand one, what your goal is and two, what your current position is. And that was kind of the first conversation we had yeah. was, what's your current position and what are your goals? Let's talk about that and let's talk about how we can make that all come together. Whether that happens in 30 days or that happens in a year or whatever, I need to know those two things and we need to talk through that and have a conversation about that so that we can get there. And so that's the first thing that you would want to do is you want to reach out to me so we can talk through those things. Um, the next thing is, is that from a, a practical standpoint, pretty much no matter what conversation we end up having, this is the conversation we had, was you have to figure out how to leverage your borrowing power. Borrowing power is up. up right now. Yeah. So if it's up, how can you leverage it? How can you, how do you make that work? And how do you begin that process? And I can walk. I walked you through it, and I can walk walk them through it too. Yeah, I can't stress this enough, guys. Um, you you don't want to go at this by yourself. I mean, it, it it's a perfect storm, right? But a but a ship can still wreck wreck in a perfect storm. Sure. So like if if this all sounds like jargon to you, um, I highly recommend. <laughs> Reaching out, we will have uh, we'll have guys' phone number here on the screen. You'll be able to see it right here. Give them a call. Um, and while you're writing that down, go ahead and smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps with the algorithm. It boosts this video up so other people just like you can see it, mm -hmm. which is really important. 
Um, Guy, thank you so much, man. I yeah, appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks. Appreciate it.